What's going on YouTube? Jay's Two Cents bringing you another vlog trying to make you think deeply within yourself. That's not even an intro I ever really ever said before. Don't really know where that came from. But a couple of things I want to talk about today. I do want to make it a quick one because I do want to get some uh, me time in tonight. Um, intended to do some of that yesterday, but ended up doing some last minute shopping because in two weeks... Miss Jace Two Cents and I, we are going to Las Wages, I mean Las Vegas, uh, for three days, um, just for a little getaway. We're meeting up with some friends there. We're going to be hanging out and having a good time, um, staying at a pretty classy joint, actually. I'm going to I'm gonna have to dirty that place up a little bit, um, staying at the Trump Tower. And if you don't know what the Trump Tower is, it's just slightly off the strip. Um, it's on the strip, but it's like right around the corner from it. Um, Donald Trump himself designed this hotel. It's a five star. It's a super classy joint. Um, and we're staying in a suite. So we've got, you know, a jacuzzi tub and, you know, we've got a little kitchen in there and this, like a couch and, you know, like a living room and the TV like pops up out of the bed and all kinds of crazy stuff. It's a really cool room and it's got a strip view and we're staying on the penthouse floor. So it's going to be really awesome. Uh, just again, one of the many things that I have to be grateful for in my life that because of all you guys who watch the videos and stuff, I'm able to, you know, go and take trips and stuff like this because the last few trips I've taken, I've only used um, some of the, the, the money I've gotten off of YouTube for that. And so I'm going to be bringing you guys some vlogs from there and uh, hopefully a good time for you guys and a video you guys enjoy watching, especially if you live somewhere where you don't get to go to Vegas or have never been. Uh, it's only a three-hour drive for us, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, secondly, I'm really starting to notice the the weight loss, especially in my face. Like my my jaw and my chin is like really squaring up. Um, I'm really liking that. I didn't realize. I went back and I looked at January first's vlog, and it was like the first official vlog where I said I'm going to do a vlog a day for 2013, which I've already failed miserably at. And my face was like really round, like a lot rounder than it is now. So I'm really excited, <clears throat> starting to see the results. Um, you guys haven't seen Miss J um, other than the one time, so you can't really see the results that she's had in the last five months, but it, uh, definitely more noticeable on her and outstanding. She looks amazing. Um, but lastly, the last thing I want to say and get you guys to kind of answer this yourself, think about it. Answer it. You don't need to put it down in the comments, but one of the questions I got asked by somebody um, who saw my draw my life and they're going through like, you know, I've had a very similar situation with bullying and just, you know, in general thinking back about, you know, decisions that they've made. And they asked me, if you knew what you know now and you could go back in time to during that bullying and, and some of those turning points in your younger life, because clearly it shaped who I am today. Um, would I <clears throat> do anything differently? If I could go back and somehow change the time, change time, and would I do something to stop the bullying? And I thought long and hard about that. And the key point to that question was, if I know then what I know now, meaning I could take knowledge I have today back there with me, would I change anything. And I think that answer has to be an honest no. I wouldn't change a damn thing. I would re-endure everything I've endured. I would I would take all of the this is bugging me. I would take all of the bullying and I would go through it all over again. Because it's it's shaped who I am today. And I firmly believe in the butterfly effect. I believe that, you know, you you step on an ant and you know, the dinosaur times and we all have, you know, five eyes and four arms. You know, I, I don't know. But I know that the way things went for me led to the meaning of my wife. Like, let's just say that first girl never cheated on me. And I knew, okay, because I, I said in that video, I only mentioned like three three girls that cheated on me. I've never had a girl not cheat on me. And I've and I've dated like, I don't know, maybe 10 10 people prior to meeting my wife, you know, through high school and stuff. And we're talking like relationships that lasted months or longer. Um, not those little like two week, you know, flings or whatever. Um, you know, so if I was to change the course of time, who knows if I ever would have met my wife 
And so I think about that, and everything I've led, I've gone through in the past that leads up till now has totally been worth it. I, I think it's made who I am a stronger person, and it's given me the insight to be able to talk to you guys and give you guys the strength to, you know, get through what it is you're getting through. And, you know, it's uh, hearing the jokes and everything thrown at me for so many years made me be able to really fight back when it comes to the trolls and stuff I'm getting here on YouTube. Uh, owned somebody really good last night, and uh, I tweeted it out. If you guys didn't see that, it was pretty good. Um, so, I mean, it, it's, it is what it is. I wouldn't change any of it. And if all of a sudden I woke up tomorrow and it was fifth grade all over again, I would be a little depressed. But I would know that the next uh, 25 years have a lot of good things in store for me. So, so I just thought I would share that with you guys and get you guys thinking. You know, just ask yourself... If you could change anything in the past, knowing it would alter your future, would you do it? My answer is no. I would take all that crap and shit all over again. I'll see you guys tomorrow.